Welcome back, Hot Wheel collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Today I'm going to go through my Redline collection, uh, along with some black wall variations, color variations, and um, there's over 500 cars, so it's probably going to be more than one video. So, uh, and today we're going to listen to a uh, some music from Rudy Harley, good friend of mine. He's a collector. He's on Instagram as 164. Avenue uh, 164th underscore Avenue on Instagram. He uh, is a customizer, does uh, dioramas, and um, he's a musician as well, so multi talented. So uh, that'll be the music in the background. I'll get you the information uh, where you can find it um, if you're interested. So, uh, first one here from 1977 is the 31 Doozy. version also from 1977 there you go and 1981 we have a green one all these are pretty close to mint condition but not uh, there is a rare orange one with green fenders that I have not seen, but uh, goes for a pretty good price. Up next, also from 1977, is the 56 Hightail Hauler Black Wall. I do not have a red line version of this one, I'm still hunting. If you have one out there that you want to get rid of, uh, hit me up. This one, as you notice, does not have tamples on the roof. And this one here does. And the one that does not have, that does have tamples on the roof is from 1978. blue version of that one there's a light blue version just like this with black bikes on the back it's the uh, rare piece and then here's a metallic version this blue metallic version is from 1983 that light blue one was from 1979 Also from 1977, the 57 Chevy, and mine is in rough kid custom shape. So even though I adore this one, I am looking for a uh, much better one. It doesn't have to be uh, mint, but uh, at least uh, all the correct color. So there's the 57 Chevy from 1977. I got some variations of this one. Here's what it actually should look like in the red line. And there's the black wall version, also from 1977. And we have a nice. Hot ones, hot one gold. And I have a ultra hot version. Looks like it uh, possibly been painted over sure no information on this one if you have any uh, please leave in the comments below All right. 
1974, July 55, Super Chrome. So this one's from 1977, and the difference is that the hood is shut on this one. I'll put the other one right next to it so you can see the difference between the two. And there you go, you stay at one on the left has the shut hood and the one on the right has the opening hood. So there's these two variations. And up next, here we have also from 1977 is the chrome black ball version. Seventy. We have the ambulance. The inspector frame gleam. Inspector frick. It's that hard to say. Spectre. Spectre flame green. <laughs> and then, then we also have and much. Worst condition brown. All right. Now, nineteen seventy six American Hauler. Get a better version of it. Some other. Got some issues with the container on the top. And yeah, one more look at, in case you're wondering what the inside looks like. This one has the doors missing on it. These are uh, fairly cheap. American Tipper, also from 1976. Have the red, white, blue bicentennial. Colors. And it's featuring you tipping, it's tips back. And up next, American Victory. Spinners switching the directions. Got 
few samples here to show you. So from 1975, let those spin around. Okay. I'm going to keep these ones at uh, about 15 minutes long each one, so not too uh, st stuck so this is a much nicer version in the black wall and the black wall also came out in the same year 1975 and up next from 1971 the AMX2. This car runs about 125 in mint condition. And got two versions that we can look at. Seventy five, the backwoods bomb. And from nineteen seventy for the Baja Bruiser, 1974 Baja Bruiser. Got the Mattel logo in the back. There's a, another variation. Have, uh, one has a metal base, one has a plastic base. So a little variation there. And 1982, we have a white variation. Appears to have a gold colored uh, base on it. Okay, that's it for this video and uh, we'll have another one uh, shortly. Stay tuned.